So when you see something like this, unlike the monsters we just dealt with, which really don't give you my, my which really don't give you much choice, here you can actually hesitate. And it's because of the simplicity of this. So I don't know how to choose the right avenue among several, other than by mental trial and error. But I basically recognize when I see this square root of x on the bottom, I know that it's the derivative of square root of x with a factor of 2, but who cares at this point? And then this appears to me as that quantity squared. And that's the moment the light bulb goes off and I recognize arc tan. Now how do I work through these details? Well, I work through these details by making a compromise between how much I do in my head and how much I put on paper. So in my head, I'll recognize that this is the derivative of square root of x, except with a 2 missing on the bottom. And because there is a 2 missing on the bottom, I'll throw, I'll throw it in mentally on the bottom and make up for it with the 2 on the outside. So I will basically write this. This would be my next step. So this is both a recognition that this is basically the derivative of square root of x, but also the fact that it's missing a factor of 2 on the bottom. So I did those two things at once. And then I will write this as square root of x squared. That's just an algebraic manipulation, but it's very necessary for your rec powers of recognition. you agree with me? And now that I'm able to look at this symbol, not as a square root of x, but as just any other variable, it immediately strikes me that this is arc tan of square root of x with a factor of 2. Because what would be, what would you do here? What is this? Arc tan of u. I just want you to agree with that because that's the warm up we started out with. Hold on, guys, hold on. What about this? What is this? If that's a w. Okay. What is this? You agree? What about this? Okay, convinced? Good. 